Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I want to discuss something interesting, which probably is the title of the video as well. Technologies I'm learning in 2022. New technologies I'm learning, and that is almost nothing. And let me just get into a little bit of details of what this means for you, what this means for me, and everyone else in the back. Let's go. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. So first of all, right off the bat, you are one of three developers. Somebody who's just starting off, somebody who is in an intermediate state and somebody who's good enough with all of their skill sets and everything and you're looking for a change or you're looking for something new. Now for the first two categories of developers one advice which I can give right off the bat is that you don't necessarily need to learn something extremely new or cutting edge or bleeding edge if you are a, not curious about it, and B, your work does, does not need it and anything and everything. Why? Because you guys have still work to do which would help you boost your confidence as a software developer because when you know the fundamentals and basics even well, that reflects in your code, that reflects in your communication, that reflects in your style, and it just, it just is a roadmap or a road to being a productive and an efficient developer because what happens a lot of times is that it's very easy to get stuck into these hundreds of videos which content creators even me sometimes releases what you should be focusing on in 2022 what you should be learning this is you should be doing this is not you should be doing and so on but at the end of the day behind the screen you are the one who has to make choices who has to make decisions and you know you just you are the one who's making the calls so one thing I can tell you right off the bat is uh, that you have to make the calls according to the situation you are in and that usually is never completely directed just through a single video when somebody else on the other side of the screen does not even know your context. So. In most of the cases, like I mentioned in the first category and the second category where you are a developer who's just starting off or you're a developer who is in an intermediate state, you can pretty much skip a lot of these new technologies, Remix, WebAssembly, you know, this Web3 stuff, a lot of things, Next.js, TypeScript, and all, all these new and complex technologies, if you still feel that there's a lot more work to do on the fundamentals. Because what happens at the end of the day is that you can learn these technologies in a relatively short amount of time if you have the confidence. That's all it is about. If you feel that you can do it, you can do it. But the expense of getting that feeling, the, the way you get that feeling is when you continuously work or when you continuously put in the effort and build that experience or build that validation with the help of the work you are doing. And that can only come uh, when you know, you're confident enough with whatever you're doing, you are doing, right? Not somebody else, not Google, not Stack Overflow and all the jokes apart, but actually you should be able to do basic kind of stuff. I mean, you should not be Googling about how to take out second element from an array or how to write a basic for loop, iterate over elements and basic stuff, right? So getting that things right, getting basic tech stack right. For example, if you're using React, you should have more clarity on how the declarative, how the imperative model is working instead of just jumping over the next hot thing with React, Next.js or sell, Remax, deploying it on servers. At the end, I mean, if you can do that, that's well and good. But if you think like you are projecting that you know that and then you move on to the next one and now you feel overwhelmed because you are projecting for the previous one and now you don't think you can even cope up with the next tech then i mean of course you don't have to force yourself to learn the newer tech you can pretty much just stick to the older one and work over there first the second important thing is to actually realize that your competition is pretty much with yourself and this might sound like cliche because i mean pretty much everyone uses this sentence or this quote or whatever but this is very true in space of programming because the moment you start comparing yourself with others i can tell you you stand nowhere <laughs> because if there's a leaderboard of programmers there's no way there's a probability that this viewer watching this video has the potential to hit number one and this is this is probability is not about downsizing you or you know just demoraling you or any any sort of that stuff but this is uh this is math right so it's not that you are aiming for the number one spot or number 10 spot even number thousand number ten thousand it's just that are you a better developer than yesterday and if that's a yes 
that's good because this stuff compounds this stuff compounds over time and the only way you will become a better developer over time is when you put in the work when you not only just consume but also put out and that is not just watch videos but also practice and build stuff and show it to people and reach out in the community and just interact with others and this this eventually leads to you yourself validating yourself for the work you are doing that yes you are somebody who has the potential to learn new things you have the potential to overcome obstacles and you have the potential to you know just build anything specific or pretty much anything with your tech stack the tech which you own so one thing you should which you should take away from this video this codecast this podcast whatever it is is that if you are in block where you are a new developer or you're somebody who is a little bit experienced but not a lot then and it's probably a good idea to not just jump into every single field or you know every single new field i should rather say or new technology right away because those things can wait and trust me they're not as uh, production ready sometimes or as beneficial to you as well than it seems like usually the best tools are the boring tools which are just working fine and nobody really talks a lot about them whether that's in in the hype phase or in the whatever phase but these tools just work right so you want to focus more on the basics the fundamentals especially if you are in one of the two categories like i mentioned and leave the new text tag that shiny stuff on only the informational level not into in depth and just trying to figure out how to learn everything so yep that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you were able to take out some value that is all for this one i'm going to see you in the next video really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you are not part of code dumps discord community you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching